Good morning everybody, except it's afternoon here in Florida and it's like 50 degrees and raining and this is a crappy winter day in Florida and I am not happy about it. I have been inside all day just playing Gran Turismo because I didn't want to come out in the cold. But I have a project that I'm working on. You guys know of it. It's the 99 Fat Boy. So I thought I would come out and do a video on it, especially for all our new members that do not know um, when I'm talking about the 99, the story behind it. So today, today is the story behind the 99 Fat Boy and a little bit of what my plan with it is. So let's get going. All right, guys. So first off, I have a 1999 Harley Davidson Fat Boy in my garage and how I came about having that is a business in Marco Island Florida and friends of mine they have been my accountant and bookkeeper for years um, they own a company called wholesale payroll uh, they are building software to compete with QuickBooks because QuickBooks is a big giant behemoth and a lot of people don't like the way they work and their customer service ain't the greatest and he could explain it all to you i'm i'm a biker i have no idea but that's what they are doing but anyway they gave me this 99 harley davidson fat boy and uh, it hasn't been raining in a few years uh but they're like here take this bike we hope you can do something cool with it well i've had it for a year and um i haven't touched it till like a week ago uh, a week ago i put a charger on it and um i cranked it over uh, nothing was frozen up and then i hit the starter and this big crunching munching ground grinding sound happened so i'm assuming that there is something wrong in the primary there or with the starter uh, i was going to pull it apart this weekend but yeah i'm not it's cold and i'm a wimp I don't want to be out here working it, so uh, I'm not going to pull it apart this week. But I thought I'd give you guys kind of a bit of a tour of what we're working with. So, of course, like I said, it's a 99, which means it's an Evo, which uh, a lot of people will tell you Evo was the last great motor that Harley-Davidson built. Um, they're super reliable, super bulletproof, and uh, I haven't done much work on Evos at all. Um, I've always been in the twin cams i know them fairly well but i don't know much about the evo but i mean if you look at any of these harley motors they don't look much different from each other so uh, there can't be that big a difference right but anyway here it is the 99 you can see there's a uh, some scratches here uh, some pretty good pitting here i did check the date code on the tires we we're we are definitely gonna need new tires. For those of you that do not know how to check the date code, let's check this one real quick. So, it is somewhere here, those, those four digits. Do I have my light on? 4613. So the 46 is the week that the tire was manufactured and 13 is the year. So we're in 2024, which basically means these tires are 11 years old. Um, the front tire's got a little wear on it. The back tire's got a little, but they haven't been ridden much at all. But of course, we're going to replace those. Uh, looks like the guy, whoever had it before me, did some chroming. So this is chrome, that's chrome. You can see the chrome inserts that they've put, chrome covers. Um, somebody, at one point in time, really loved the old girl got a pretty good scratch here on this rear fender as you can see um, no major dents or anything like that that I can see tank looks pretty good um, except it's had gas sitting in it for quite a while so I'm not sure but I'm guessing I'm probably gonna have to pull it off clean it out who knows it's probably flaking stuff in there so I'll probably have to clean it out and recoat it but I don't know um, carburetor I don't know if they shut the gas off or not uh, I don't know what shape it's in so I'm probably gonna have to do something with the carburetor which is gonna suck because it's been a long time since I've done anything with a carbureted vehicle uh, a really long time I'm talking like Camaros and stuff back in the day <laughs> so I have not messed with any carburetors on motorcycles 
at all, at least not in the last 30 years. So um, that might be a bit of a challenge, who knows? Otherwise, um, once we get it fixed and running, then what are we gonna do with it? That is the million dollar question. I do not think that we are gonna keep it. I have one, two, three, four, I already have four bikes, three of them being fat boys. So as much as I would like to keep uh, an Evo fat boy, I don't think I'm going to. What do you guys think? What else should I do to this? Once I get it running and all cleaned up, I mean, handlebars? Should it have apes on it? Should it have drag bars? Should it stay looking like it did when it rolled off the showroom floor? Uh, it looks like they have quick disconnects back here, so they probably had a backrest on it at some time, some point or another. The seat, the seat is not bad on it, but you know, should I have it redone? I mean, should I fix it up really nice, or should I leave it like, I mean, like it was meant to be, right? For me, I like the, the way it was meant to be. I want bikes that I'm not afraid to ride. Like, I don't want, want bikes that I've invested so much money fixing up that I don't want to ride it anywhere but to bike night. Um, I want to ride them, wear them out, rebuild them, ride them again, wear them out, and rebuild them. So, what should I do with the 99? I mean, it doesn't look bad right now. A really good cleanup, maybe some touch-up. Looks like there might be a little paint damage right there. Yeah, got a little paint damage there. Um, maybe a paint job, maybe a wrap. Uh, the chrome is definitely gonna need some work, as you can see. I don't know whether that's salvageable or not. Um, but, I mean, there's no major oil leaks. Everything looks pretty clean. Um, I don't know. What's you guys' thoughts? Put them in the comments below. And if you want to follow this adventure, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you, if you hit the little bell icon, then it'll notify you every time I upload a video. Which, as you know, if you've been here for a while, that's every day this year. Um, this is episode 15, I believe. Uh, which means I have 351 left because it's a leap year. So 366 videos this year coming your way. Man, I hope I can maintain this. I'm already struggling with, what am I going to do today? <laughs> you just never can tell. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Um, I guess today's Monday. Hope you have a great week, and we'll see you tomorrow.